uh, welcome back again and yeah like i'm back with a, a another exercise uh, they did not tell us any other information they just told us that this angle is 40 degrees this angle is 30 degrees and they ask they ask us to calculate a uh, angle x and angle y and i just want to be honest here uh, I took like 25 minutes looking at this sketch here and it took me a, a lot of time to realize what was going on here uh, but trust me uh, once you see this you will also be amazed but uh, I know someone is uh, out there saying that uh, uh, I'm looking at the memo uh, guys uh, I'm not looking at any memo here I just uh, take this exercise from uh, the textbook of grade 11, grade 12, and uh, answer them here. Some of these problems might look similar to a textbook uh, because I take them from the textbook and uh, do them here with you. I don't just uh, draw them here, look, here, look at the memo and give you answers. Uh, I have to explain what is going on here. And yeah i'm not just uh, off screen looking at the memo telling you this is this this is this uh, i'm also explaining how you can find this here so those that are saying i'm looking at the memo are uh, just writing answers uh, hard luck guys i'm not looking at the memo uh, let's uh, get on to this here so how do we find angle x and y uh, when i looked at this here i, I realized that uh, we all know that angle X is equal to angle B because they are angles in the same segment. So we can write that here. We can say angle X is equal to angle B uh, because they are angles in same segment. segment. So we can write X over here. Uh, but uh, what is x here uh, we can see that uh, this angle b here uh, not the whole angle b this only this portion here of angle b uh, we know that it is equal to the sum of uh, the opposite interior angles uh, this angle here is the exterior angle of this uh, triangle here so uh, it took me a while to realize that so uh, angle x here is equal to 40 degrees this is 40 degrees plus 30 degrees plus 30 degrees because of the uh, what is this uh, exterior angle of a triangle exterior angle of a triangle so this angle here is uh, 70 degrees 70 degrees uh, if b is equals to 70 degrees then also d is equals to 70 degrees uh, therefore uh, let's say b no let's say let's say b is equals to uh, or let's say uh, c b uh, c b e yeah let's say that there let's say cbe so that uh, if we say angle b they will, th they will think that we are referring to this whole angle here so let's say cbe so that we can so that we can show them that we are referring to this angle here no not cbe but uh, this here a b uh, yeah we can say abc so we can say abc a b c so we are referring to this angle only is equal to this uh, since we said angle b is equal to angle x therefore we can say x uh, x is equal to 70 degrees i hope that was not confusing because this is exterior angle of this triangle here so we said that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior angles or two opposite interior angles and yeah we found x is equal to 70 degrees 
uh, this is 70 degrees uh, how do we find this here uh, we know that angle a uh, angle a i hope you can see that angle a is equals to 40 degrees so angle a angle a is equals to 40 degrees and uh, because of the angles in the same segment in same segment uh, is equals to we, we say that y is equals to this angle plus this angle here because of the converse of uh, the, the angles in the same segment so we can say that y is equals to uh, angle a plus x and uh, you can say converse converse so we can say y is equals to we know a is 40 degrees 40 degrees plus uh, x we know is 70 degrees so y is equals to 40 plus 70 is 110 uh, is it yeah, 110 110 degrees or you can go uh, the long way around since this uh, 70 plus 40 is uh, 110 so 180 minus 110 we are left with uh, 70 degrees yeah 70 degrees if this is 70 degrees and this is 70 degrees that means this uh, sides here are equal just remember that uh, you do not need to use, to use that for now but just remember if the adjacent angles are equal then these two sides are equal so uh, since we found this angle here that means this angle must also be 70 degrees because of the vertically opposite uh, angles are equal so this two here must share the same angle this two here must share the same angle so 70 plus 70 is 140 so we go to 160 and minus 140 and uh, we are left with uh, 220 so 220 divided by 2 uh, is 110 so here is 110 also here is 110 so you can see you can go the other way around but this angle here must add up to 360 degrees uh, i hope this was helpful and we will see each other in the next upcoming videos uh, stay tuned